We've got Mayor Daryl Steinberg talking right now about all of this excitement. Let's go ahead and join him. And the former vice mayor, uh, the council member from uh, neighboring District 6, Eric Guetta. And uh, we are here, of course, today to join the celebration. Today is the stuff of dreams. It is a day of understandable excitement for the people of Sacramento, for the people of West Sacramento, for the greater Sacramento region, for the state of California. I want to thank Vivek Ranadive and the Sacramento Kings for loving Sacramento and continuing to help uplift us in all positive ways. I want to thank Major League Baseball. I want to thank, thank the A's. I want to thank the city of West Sacramento. And as I'm going to talk about in just a moment, I actually want to thank, no surprise, the city of Sacramento for what it has done to bring us to this very important day. The A's decision, first of all, to leave Oakland occurred long before today. And I said it when Sacramento was not being discussed as a possible temporary site, and I want to say it again now. Oakland is a great city, and it does not deserve to lose its team. It doesn't to deserve to lose their teams. These decisions were made separate and apart from anything to do with Sacramento. And my message to the A's fans, obviously here in Sacramento, but also in Oakland, is that this will be your team too. For Sacramento, there are several important things to say today. First of all, we will make the A's and Major League Baseball proud. We will make the A's and Major League Baseball very, very proud. Let's take a moment to take stock of and to lift up our city and our region. We have always been hungry for more, more sports, more art, more entertainment, more vitality, more jobs, more housing for all people. People ask, will this be on it an audition for Sacramento as it continues to grow and attract more, including the potential for future Major League Baseball expansion? And my answer is, you bet it will be an audition. Just like what we showed with the Kings, have showed consistently in good years and in many of the tough years. Just as we show with the Republic year in and year out, just as we are so loyal to everything that is Sacramento, I have no doubt that our fans, our people, our ownership and our community will wow them all. We will no longer, as a city and as a region, be the best kept secret in California and this country. There is one other important message that I want to convey today to our city and to our community. And it's a little bit of a, a lesson, I suppose, in politics, in community, and in life. Always, always take the long view. We've been through some hard times these last couple of years, and we certainly are not alone. And so it was just 10 years ago, I guess 11, 11 years ago now, it was 10 last year. 11 years ago, when there was not a pandemic, and we had gotten through that terrible recession of the mid-2000s, we celebrated saving the kings and building the Golden One Center, and what a monumental achievement it was and is. 
We have accomplished so much more over the last 10 or 11 years. Look at the growth of this city and the region. Look at the number of businesses, the number of restaurants. Look at the new theater. Look at the convention center expansion. Look at how we are growing. But we've also had some tough times. And some I know, when we have the tough times, adopt the too easy negative spin cycle. Oh my, what's the future of downtown? What's the future of the city? Things are broken. For this city, investing over $300 million in the Golden One Center, welcoming Vivek Ranadive and saving the Kings 10 years ago, without that chapter in our history, we would not be here today. And the announcement that was made this morning at 10 o'clock in the home of our proud neighbor, the city of West Sacramento, would not have happened either. Success leads to more success, even if it takes time. Confidence positively attracts more investment, more sports, more entertainment, and more opportunities. And there's the mayor talking about this just opening up way more opportunity for our Sacramento region, giving kudos to all of those involved in this, remembering how we also saved the Kings to bring them here, keep them here and build on G1C, that this is really just the beginning. Yeah. The mayor going and saying that this is a test run for the yeah. MLB to make Sacramento home. And I mean, opening those statements, he said, today is the stuff of dreams. It is. Uh, and it definitely historic. is one we've certainly been waiting for.